Yes, boys, it's Daradas21. Today we're back with another Prime Icon Moments player review. This time it is Filippo Inzaghi. He's extinct at 660, so yeah, you're going to up his price range. We got him for 630, so we've covered tax. We're laughing, we're trying him. And as you can see, six games, 18 goals, all in weekend league. I'm going to have some clips that uh, I've taken from the games that I played that I didn't record, uh, just to show you guys, but we're going to do. Uh, one or two live recordings now as well during uh, foot champs uh, but let's get into what his card's saying 82 pace 95 shooting 84 dribbling 71 passing 67 physical and 37 defending they have altered this card to last year i think this year his card's a little bit worse um, but from playing with him he seems like he's suited to this game more than last year player attributes 83 acceleration, 81 sprint speed, 99 positioning, 99 finishing, 89 shot power, 92 long shots, 89 volleys and 89 penalties. Let's just say the shooting on this card is cracked. Doesn't feel slow either. Dribbling, we've got 83 agility, 85 balance, 93 reactions, 88 ball control, 80 dribbling, 90 composure. You can notice the dribbling a little bit. Doesn't feel amazing on the ball, but his reactions, his composure is clinical. Physical stats, yeah, not great. He can, you know, wiggle his way past, you know, got a bit of strength to him, but nothing crazy. Uh, heading. We haven't really scored any headers with him yet, but we'll we'll try. I join this review. Player traits. Doesn't really have anything. You know, no outside of the foot. No finesse. Uh, icon profile. I'll let you boys have a read and, you know, you can do that on your, uh, you know, your own screen. But we're going to get into it. Like I said, I've actually really enjoyed using this card. Um, there's been games where he scores a hat trick, four goals in one game, six goals in one game. Uh, it's been pretty mental. We're playing him up top next to Mbappe. So we'll see how he gets on. Wins the ball. Mbappe, he's alone. Going to play in Zaghi. Zaghi's making a nice run. He's going to take that touch. Can he finish it? And of course he finishes it. And this is what I'm saying, boys. This card actually seems very, very good. I know the downside is the three star, three star. But if you guys, you know, are better with players that aren't agile, aren't necessarily small, and you're not bothered about the skill moves, yes, the weak foot, you know, okay, downside. But as you'll see from some of these clips, we've scored on his left foot multiple times. Um, I think for the price, we've, we've, we've got a little jam on our hands. Here he goes again. He tries to body his man, and that's what he can offer. He, he will try and win the ball as much as possible. Not a bad effort there, to be fair. Using that L2 to shield it, and then just trying to get that shot off with his left foot, which wasn't a bad shot. Keeper saved it. And there he is again. The positioning. The positioning is unmatched. It is so unmatched. And he hits the crossbar there. I thought, you know what, we'll go with the finesse. He doesn't have the finesse straight, like I've said. Um, but he has some decent long shot stats. Curve isn't crazy. But um, he definitely can hit them outside the box. Oh, nice touch there by Inzaghi to bring the ball down. And there's Inzaghi, boys. That is Inzaghi. Started from his touch. And he bags it. Three star skills. Doesn't matter. And we get the rage quit. Let's go, boys. The man himself. Not a bad shot. I was on his weaker foot. Not in the greatest position. Alright, go on. Let's see what his movement's like. One, two. Go alone, take the shot, and he's finished it. Inzaghi, man, can score majority of types of shots in this game. Whether it's outside the box, whether it's inside the box, no problem. Right, boys, so we are doing a review on the Prime Icon moments, Inzaghi. Um, I'm not recording my gameplay at this point because I'm just playing foot champs. We've just gone and beat a guy 10-1. And Inzaghi, Inzaghi scored a lot of them. Uh, he scored like three and four in my other foot champs games. Like the guy is actually very, very good when it comes to uh, scoring goals. I'm absolutely blown away with how good this card is. Uh, this guy was trying as well. Um, 
we'll go ahead and show some of the goals that we scored. First one, just a tidy finish. It was a rocket into that top corner. I'm not going to, you know, fast forward, I mean, watch these, like go through and watch them because like I said, he scores so many goals in this, this, this game. Uh, we'll just go through and show you the sort of goals that he was scoring. But just watching him, like his positioning, he's always in the right space. Uh, you know, we've seen him score rockets. We saw him score P-rollers. Uh, and I'm absolutely blown away with this card. I'm not going to lie. Um, just seems so, so clinical. Doesn't really miss a shot. Obviously, yeah, he's got the three-star weak foot, um, which is obviously going to lay down. But here, there was a three, uh, three-star three weak foot left-footed shot with him. Uh, and he managed to, you know, place it past the keeper. Um, no trouble. Um, is there any more? There's one more here, I think. This might be the last one. Yeah, little sweaty goal. But left foot, rocket into that top corner. Um, and that was it for this game. So we will get into some more clips. Second game, we've just gone and won 3-0 as well. Um, the guy quit after the third goal. It was a long shot with Inzaki, which actually surprised me, but we didn't get the clip because the guy quit. So we'll show you the first goal. Inzaki's positioning, you'll see where it is now. He makes a really good run through the middle where the open spaces and just slots it past the keeper. Uh, and that's just, you know, portraying his movement and his finishing, which I honestly think is one of the best in the game I've tried. Like his movement so far has been unmatched, honestly. Uh, the second goal was quite nice. Um, you know, running through. Managed to just rock it, you know, to the left, and that's to do with his movement as well. Uh, and like I said, the third goal we scored in this game was a long shot, but uh, we didn't manage to get the clip. So there we go. We've just played two live games with him, just to show you that, like, I don't know, that it, it's official how good this card actually is. Uh, obviously, in that last game there, he only scored one goal, um, but eight games, twenty-two goals, two assists, for six hundred and sixty k. If you can play with him the way that I play with him. I think that's a dub. Like, I think that is a massive, massive dub. Uh, I'm going to go into the fact that, like, his positioning, finishing is is, is cracked. Uh, I scored two or three long shots with this card. Uh, some were, like, power shots. Some were finesses. So he can finish outside the area as well as inside the area. I'd say the noticeable thing about his dribbling is that his agility and balance helps out that he's got low dribbling. Obviously, having ball control and reactions helps out massively as well. Uh, and having the night composure means that when he's in the area, there's no pressure uh he doesn't he doesn't bottle his chances basically <laughs> uh physical stats 67 honestly you know he can hold the ball uh, i think the downside is his stamina it does get tired near the end of the game so you're probably going to sub him off in like the 70th maybe 80th minute depending um didn't really score a header with him or anything but i don't score headers in general uh sprint speed uh, and acceleration with the engine chem style was really really good um you can probably try a different chem style maybe um like a what else could you try? You could try the Hunter, but it wouldn't be worth it on the shooting. So engine's the only one that really boosts pace and dribbling. So I'd recommend that uh, unless, you know, you try something else. Uh, but boys, I'm going to go and give this guy like a, a 9 out of 10 or an 8.8 out of 10. This guy, the only thing that we was lacking was the skill moves, maybe a work rate readjust, but because of his position here, it doesn't really matter. Uh, weak foot felt fine. Yes, he missed a few chances on his left, but I actually scored quite a few goals with his left, so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, but would I say go buy this card? Yeah, I would actually. I think, you know, if you're looking to try a prime icon moment, he's one of the cheaper ones, go try him out. But boys, let me know down in the comments who I should review next. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you boys in the next video.